Hey guys, welcome back to The Pressing Matters. I'm Scott Wilson. Um, about two months ago, I did um, a video on Yusef Latif's Eastern Sounds, the one-step um, release from Craft Recordings in the Small Batch series. Um, being that it was so difficult to get a copy of that record um, for many people, uh, a lot of people were left disappointed. It was extremely limited. It sold out so quickly, like in seconds, and um, there was only a thousand of them worldwide, so um, a lot of people were disappointed. Um, so I thought, um, you know, I was lucky to get one, but I thought, um, why don't I order the only other available pressing, which is um, the uh, OJC Fantasy pressing. I went to look for it online, and it was out of stock everywhere. I guess the hype around the one-step pressing really um, boosted sales for that because it was sitting around for years before that. It was remastered in 1991 um, by Phil Delancey at Fant Fantasy Studios in Berkeley. Um, so it finally came in. So I just thought I'd go over uh, briefly the differences in the look of it and the sound of it. Um, the Yusuf Lati very briefly comes like this in a slip, uh, slip case. You can see the reflection there. It's a black um, shiny embossing, a nice shiny picture there, um, and a ribbon slip case that pulls out the record. The record looks like this. The jacket, I mean, um, they use a nice um, purple font for the title. Uh, the Orange Moodsville logo and an orange stereo logo, which is very nice and discreet. Um, the photo reproduction is excellent too. Um, it's a pretty substantial feeling um, jacket. The new one, or the new one to me, fantasy is like this not as elegant it has a white stereo logo that kind of looks a little ugly um, the type is lower down on the page um, and they're using a prestige logo which is not as interesting as the Moodsville logo and this if you look next to this one um, is too contrasty, I think. I like this one better. It's much more elegant looking. As it should be for the price. Um, and the price difference is significant. I mean, this was $100 when it came out. Now it's in the hundreds of hundreds. And this is I believe $24.95, probably less if you buy it used, but um, so that's the difference in the jacket. There is a difference in the label as well. Let me show you that. There's a difference on the label. That's the Moodsville label. And I'm looking through the record. It's transparent Neotech vinyl. And this one is on the old Prestige, I'm sorry, the old, um, yeah, Prestige label. Lighter, lighter weight vinyl, no see-through. And so, very briefly, um, I put on the new, uh, the, pre the Prestige uh, Fantasy, OJC pressing first um, when it came in and I could tell right away that it wasn't up to the same standard as the one step. Not bad. Hadn't I, had I not heard the one step prior, um, 
to hearing it, I probably would have been pretty content with it. Uh, there's no ticks or pops. It's a decent pressing, um, not super quiet as far as the vinyl compound though. Um, when you turn it up to a decent level, you do hear the vinyl groove noise. Um, and that makes a difference in this record. On the Neotech vinyl, it's so quiet that you can turn it up. And it does make a difference because there's so many uh, quiet passages on this record, starting with the first cut, the plum blossom, very quiet. And, you know, it really draws you in on the one step, whereas you feel removed a little bit from it on the um, fantasy. And the other, other attributes of uh, analog mastering and having, you know, uh, tube electronics, they're apparent on the one step. It's a more organic sounding, more rounded presentation, uh, elegant um, presentation. The instruments sound spot on. Um, the details are there, but they're not pushed in your face. Um, you know, details in like breath sounds, um, percussion touches, the brushes, the cymbals, all these little details um, are very clear and correct sounding on the um, one step. On the digital remaster, it loses something. I'd say the, the sound is like 90% of the way there. It's just all those little features, the one step, the quiet vinyl, the pressing by RTI, the mastering by Bernie Grundman, you know, the original analog tape. It's, it's too many things stacked up against this other pressing. I mean, it really is worth it. Uh, if you had gotten it for a hundred bucks, I don't know if I'd pay 900 or whatever it costs now. I guess it's not that high, but you know, it could be. Um, it's, yeah, it's not there. It's just not there. It's, it's an acceptable substitute, but it feels like a facsimile of, of the original. And, um, whereas the one step feels and sounds correct. It sounds the way it should. And, um, that's what matters. All these little details matter when you're an audiophile. So, um, you know, personally, if I didn't, if I wasn't a huge fan of the album, I don't even know if I'd pick up this, um, this OJC. I think I would probably just stream it um, because I'd get a quieter um, background. And that's about it. Um, you know, I, I wish I had better news, but it's, it's not a, it's not even a contest it's not even a contest so thank you um for tuning in to this little update um appreciate it and thank you for watching and subscribing and i'll see you next time